350 grand in debt or two, whatever it is. We're still in debt, right? A fair bit. I'm just mentally fucked. This cunt fucked me. He fucked me. He's going to fuck me. He fucked me. Oh, fuck this shit. Bang. Pull over the side. Start punching the steering wheel. Punching, 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 punching. Headbutting, headbutting. I bled with my fingers. This went on for five minutes, right? Caught my mum. Mum, don't think I want to live anymore. She said, what? I don't want to live anymore. Don't want to live. I just didn't want to live. Man, the feeling I had, I, ha I, am, a, I, am, I am resilient. I am um, passionate. I'm determined. I'm driven. I'm, I'm persistent with everything. That was it. I, man, honestly, I fucking felt that was the end of me. I thought, no, nah, I don't want to do this anymore. Fuck this shit. I didn't want to do life. You get to a point in your life where it just gets over. That was it. Punch the steel. I say, I need help here. Or, or that, I'm going to neck myself. Um, I call up Kieran. Kieran comes over. Mum comes over. We sit down. It was an overwhelming feeling, feeling of, I just don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to live this life. The life which, it was just it got way too much, just way too much. And my lifestyle factors got on top of me. It was fucked, man. Mentally, I was fucking cooked. I didn't want to get up in the morning. It was just way too much. And the, it was the first time I'd ever given up. Well, shit. Just a terrible time in my life. Terrible time, man. I don't wish I'm my worst enemy, man. Yeah, shit. And um, mum came over, Kieran came over, and that was the stage where I saw Jackie. <sighs> yeah, I don't wish that on anyone. The final, the, the that, so they came and saw me and my, my parents, and I think my mum knew where I was at. Kieran, the day that was the big, the worst day was what happened was, I think it was two weeks after that day. I kind of felt like, I don't know, man. Like, I stopped taking my meds, and I said to myself, "Oh, fuck this shit." So, I stopped taking my meds, and I remember I was at my mate's house, Brad's house, and um, I said to myself. What's the easiest way I can get out of this? And I laugh now, but fuck, man. What a fucked up thought. I wasn't thinking straight, obviously. I reckon I was probably up for two to three days, and I was thinking to myself, fuck this. I gotta, I gotta, I'm got i just thinking about, what's the easiest way to remember myself? This chick came around, and she says to me, I said to her, listen, can you get me any um, Valiums? Like, how many Valiums can you get? She goes, oh, why? And I said, I just want fucking Valiums. Just don't ask me why. Get me Valiums. And I wasn't hanging around with the the most um, how do I put it the uh, most nicest people in the world. I, I, it's so funny. My I isolated myself completely. Isolated myself in the world. I started hanging around really bad people. The people you just don't want to hang out with. Let's just put it that way. Let's leave it at that. And because because I just I just did. I didn't want to hang around normal people. I'm like, well, I don't I don't deserve to hang around normal people. I don't want to really anymore. I just want to hang around these people. So you kind of hang around these people that aren't good people that will use you that extorted me. Let's, I'm not going to talk about that, but I'll leave it at that. Um, this now you can start to understand my mental state. Not good. And um, she goes, "Yeah, I got Valiums. Sweet, cool. Gives me them. How many? Uh, I took. It, get, get, it gets better. Just wait. Had the packet. Anyway, I said, "Well, why is this only one packet?" She goes, "Oh, because I don't know. I've lost the other one." I said, "Fuck it. Took all of them on the packet. About I think ten. Took all of them." Turns out they weren't at uh, Valiums. Here's the kicker, they're antipsychotics. So antipsychotics relax your nervous system, they put you to sleep, right? But if you take a certain amount of them, you can be a vegetable. Because I slept for like three days afterwards. So I took 10. I go, I want more. She goes, no. Well, anyway, I went around the house. They must have dropped out somewhere. I looked, I looked. I said, fuck this. Drank a whole bottle of wine. Drank another bottle of wine. There's two bottles of wine, right? Anyway, I have to go to work. This is when Cranage saw me, right? Have to go to work. So 10, 10 tablets. Man, the kick is this, right? Apparently, if I took 20, well, I was trying to take 20. She didn't tell me that any so close. She told me the Valiums. But me and my haze, I was just so fucking all over the show. I just took 10. And I said, where's another 10? I was, oh, man, my whole idea was to take as many as I can and hopefully go to sleep. That was the idea. But you think about it, you just go to sleep. It, no, don't you? You're not going to wake up, are you? And, I, and someone goes, oh, well, you're scared about being vegetable. Fuck no, I don't care. I'm dead. I don't give a fuck. If you're vegetable, that t I'd hope that pants just turn off my fucking, um, uh, whatever it is. Well, I'm lucky. I'm just lucky that I didn't take, because there were supposed to be two packets of 10 of these antipsychotics. I don't know what they were. Don't even ask me. I don't even know. But one fell out. Obviously, one fallen out in their car. Oh, man, Alex, I'm t swearing on my mum's life and my fa family's. I would have taken all of them. I'd be dead. 
Because fuck, man, I came in here and asked Amy Melander, poor Amy and Thigo, I was just fucked. I couldn't, because the two bowls of wine, because the idea was for me just to take, take 20 tablets, two bowls of wine, done, be done with it and see what happens. I don't know why I even went to work. What the fuck was I doing, man? Like, I don't know why I did. I don't know why. I tried to drive, but Brad stopped me from driving. Because I go, fuck you, I'm driving, and I try you to get the two ca- bottles of wine in, too. Two bottles of wine, ten antipsychotics. These antipsychotics were strong as fuck. When did you start feeling them? Within 20 minutes, and I was like, oh, well, but, mate, you don't think clearly when you're mentally just all over the shop. You're thinking, oh, this is great. Um, I took them, and I thought, ah, oh, fuck it, I'm going to, um, I'm going to go drive to work. Mate, don't ask me why I went. I don't know. I can't remember what. I woke up and there was te- three, four people around me. I don't remember anything. I get to work because Brad drove me. So Brad saved my life because, mate, I'm telling you, I would have killed people on the road. Mate, I'm thank fuck for Brad because I don't remember it. Mate, I do not remember anything. I remember waking up, Alex, four days, three days later, and then going to see Jackie in psych and then deciding to go to rehab. And, um, uh, fuck, it was a weird thing, man. Like, fuck, I, um, so you go to work. What's the first thing? Well, man, all really I remember, remember, all I remember was walking in, and then I don't remember oh, what I was saying. Amy reckons I slur my words. She goes, "I've never seen you like that. Your eyes, everything. Like you weren't even like dressed properly. You're all over the shop." And they put me upstairs, and they just let me rest, and I slept. I just apparently slept, and um, they said, "What do you take?" They were trying to figure out what I was taking. Like, should you go to the hospital? Because they called up the ambulance and saying, "Listen, I was." Uh, they made sure my head was on the side. Um, and they trying to figure out what they gave me because they, I thought she gave me Valiums. She gave me any psychotics. And then Brad was getting upset because he's like, what the fuck are you giving him that for? And mate, I didn't give a shit, mate. At the time, Alex, I didn't care. That was it, mate. That was the first time in my life that I said, I don't want to wake up, man. The first time. And I, I can say this now. It is, uh, it, anyone feeling that and listening to that, I want you to know that you're not fucking alone, man. Like, you are not alone. Like, I say this now, I'm jovial, because I'm okay, but I am lucky. I'm one of the lucky ones. Like, fuck, what a story, man, to try to get out of this fucking cave and to survive. This is a fucking great story. I mean, Shandell talks about the ability to get up and go again and, and, and be that, Be I can be the face of this now to help people get through these dark times, but man, you're not alone because I flipped it. You can flip it. I want you to know you're not alone because I did it. I was lucky. You don't need to do that shit because you can message me because I'll talk to you or you can talk to your family or friend or there's better better things to do than that. I just did it because I felt there was no... I honestly felt, man, I, I think you're right what you said. It was three years of accumulation and a few kicks in the guts when I didn't need it. Do you know what I mean? Like maybe it, I, I use it like I was on the ground and I had two kicks in the guts real bad that just fucking winded me and I think that was it. I just reckon my brain said, no, nah, I'm checking out of here. Honestly, I felt like I'm checking out, man. And um, my parents, man, seeing my um, seeing my um, seeing my um, my mum, and uh, seeing my mum and dad, and um, yeah, yeah, yeah it wasn't good. <laughs> yeah, it was a uh, time of my life, man. I didn't want to, you know, I don't wish upon anyone. <laughs> that was a terrible time in my life. <laughs> and people, people think I'm a strong person, which I am a strong person, eh? but fuck, I'm human, man. You know, I still cop it on the chin, you know, it's still hard, man. That was a shit time in my life. <laughs> and to see my mum's face, to see my mum's face and... <sighs> and to ask, to have my mum cry in front of me and say, please, promise me you're not going to do it. It was the hardest thing in my life To see my mum's face Man that fuck with me for months To see her cry in front of me And my dad cry And then say Would you Don't please promise me And I made a promise I wouldn't And then It was a hard time <sighs>